lot of people confused about this. No lack of ideas, but how do you pay for them? How soon will we get that public transit? Our panel is weighing in tonight. Two new people to introduce you to. Matthew McGuire is Toronto Taxpayers Coalition and Stephen Monroe, a transit advocate here in the city. Good to see you both. Thank you. Let me ask the first question. It is the obvious one. Why are transit solutions taking so long? Do you have any idea? You've been watching this. You know this at like the back of your hand. for over 40 years. Yeah. And the problem basically is anything you want to do with transit takes time. And in that time, governments change, policies change, there may be an economic crisis, and what looked good four years ago doesn't look good today. But the solutions that are coming out in this report to more of the board's going to be looking at are no-brainers. I mean, we're paying these experts at City Hall or in the TTC to do this, and yet I think if you ask the average rider, they could have come up with this list. It's, it's a pretty straightforward list. Some yeah. of the stuff on it is things the TTC was doing three or four years ago. It was. What or happened? was, well, there were cutbacks courtesy of Rob Ford. Uh -huh. uh, and in order to make room for, for his budget, there were things the TTC was doing, services were cut, and improvements they were planning to make weren't, weren't carried forward with. The number two question, and maybe it's the number one to most of us, of course, is how do we pay for it? Steve, what do you think, Matthew? Well, you know, frankly, that would be a great question for candidate, uh, mayoral candidate Olivia Chow. Uh, this report mirrors one of her policies, which is to increase bus service by 10%. But her price tag, uh, we now know, for courtesy of this report, is incredibly wrong. She's pegging it at $15 million a year. What this report tells us is that it will require a capital cost of $288 million. Okay, these are all numbers. So I guess what I'm saying sure. is, I mean, obviously, does the person who's sitting at home have to say, I have to pay, pay out of my pocket in terms of taxes? Or is it a question of having road tolls on the DVP and the 401? Because, you know, you have to pay for the privilege of having a car? Or do we hike the, the fares once again significantly to make up the shortfall? And exactly. therefore, we're going to hit the person who is, you know, most counts on, on it's transit to get around. It's important these numbers in context. Uh, the $69 million operating cost is five years out. The current total TTC operating budget is $1.6 billion mm -hmm. a year. So we're mm -hmm. not talking about a huge increase. The capital cost, which is about $295 million, mainly for new buses, so you can have more service, okay. that's against a $9 billion 10-year capital plan for the TTC. So we're not talking huge incremental costs. By comparison, if you want to build a kilometer of subway line, $300 million dollars might pay for a reasonably cheap And yeah, we're still arguing between where do we go, subways? And we're still LRTs, arguing where we go. go. So I, cut, I cut you off there, yeah, so I'll let you finish sure. your Sure, and Steve, I agree with you. Context is important. Yeah. And for $15 million, Olivia Chow thinks that we can have this plan. Are She's you endorsing more, Olivia Chow? Is that what's happening here? Because well, I can tell you John Tory say he has his solution, and Rob Ford says he has his solution as well. Sure, Rob. and everyone has their solution. We're not endorsing anybody. Okay. But what we do know is that from this report, the capital costs will be $288 million. Olivia Chow ignores that. She pretends it doesn't exist. Now the $15 million operating cost will be the first year and it'll ramp up as you said each year until 2018 when it's $69 million. $69 million. We have a better idea of what this proposal would cost. The other question is, is this the appropriate investment in the City of Toronto well, that, at this point Which in time? leads me to the question, is this the solution that we need? Uh, are we on the right track, if you'll pardon the pun? It's, it's certainly, there's pieces of this that I think really have to happen right away. Definitely service improvements are long overdue. People cannot get on transit vehicles. It's the single biggest complaint. But this was all preventable. We see, we see the city growing. Of course it was all preventable. And so who dropped the ball? Well, council and the TTC decided that saving money was more important than running more service. And I think if anyone, because I mean you obviously watch out for the taxpayer here, Matthew, anyone who says we need to start, you know, charging somebody, be it one of some of the solutions that I put out there in terms of revenue, it's, it's, it's a hot potato and p potentially political suicide. No one's going to vote if you're going to, I'm going to raise the taxes or put on road tolls, right? I think we're all in agreement that significant investment does need to be made in Toronto Public Transit. The issue is where does that come from? Are we going to keep going back to the taxpayer time and time again? Or are we going to look for alternative uh, sources of funding? Ultimately, by having the most amount of money available, we're going to be able to build the biggest and the best system. But what do we invest that money in? Do we invest it in this plan, or do we invest it in other plans? 24 hours from now, the TTC board's going to have its say on this. Are you optimistic we're going to have some sort of resolution? Well, no, because all the, all the board is going to do at this point is formally put all these proposals in the hopper for the right. 2015 budget. Uh, the main thing is to get them in there before the budget, because the process really right. starts at the staff level yeah, now. Yeah, forget about all the bureaucracy. And, and so off. when the new council meets... This, rather than starting from scratch and saying, well, maybe next year we'll look at this, yeah. the proposals and all the details will already be there for them to discuss. One thing we can agree on here is I have a feeling we'll be talking about this, if not 24 hours from now, 
three months from now, a year from now. Yes. Gentlemen, thanks for your insight. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.